there is always a gap between what we know and what we do. And for you to be the best version of yourself possible in any area of your life, we have to be diligent and focused on closing that gap. You know what you're supposed to do, but you're not doing it. He asked me to look in the camera and talk to these entrepreneurs and say, you know, what's the most important key to success? I think it's hunger. It's, it's not getting satisfied. Intelligence is an incredibly important distinction and a valuable thing to have in life. But I always tell people, you can find so many intelligent people that can't fight their way out of a paper bag. What matters is hunger. A hunger that doesn't go away. A hunger to learn. A hunger to grow. A hunger to serve. A hunger to give. A hunger to create breakthroughs. Most people are hungry until they make a certain amount of money and then they get comfortable. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's not about the money. It's not about the business. It's about your growth. And anytime you ask someone to change a behavior or change a habit, it leads to discomfort. And most people, and I believe it's even wired in our DNA, do everything possible to alleviate discomfort. We try to resist and run from discomfort at every chance we get. I love that most people don't take anything seriously. I love that most people aren't coachable. I love that most people don't do what I teach or that anybody teaches. I love that. That's how certain people win. I don't say that talking down to you. I say, wake up! You want to win? You want to be a millionaire? You got to quit being so casual. You walk slow, you talk slow, you implement things slow, you talk a good game like you're going to be somebody, like you're going to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Business is a sport. It's competitive. You got to get focused and get in a hurry. Around a dude like me, we will smash your organization. We come to play. We're for real. Players who implement strategies that get focused and intense, they win decades. They win multiple championships. You got to win year after year after year to be a player in business. If you make a couple of these adjustments, man, you could change your life. You could change your family forever. It's not casual. You meet somebody wealthy, their family at one point was not wealthy. And then the one shows up. The one. One person changes the family tree forever. In my family, I'm the one. And it wasn't because I wanted it or I hoped for it. I fought for it. I fight for the inches. Give me the info. Tell me what to tweak. I want to win. I want to fight for my family. I want my mom and dad proud of me. I want my kids proud of me. I want me proud of me. I want to look in the mirror and be happy with the man I look back at. That he gave it everything. That he went for it. Discomfort is a prerequisite to growth. It's a prerequisite to everything it is that you want to achieve. So we have to be able to, to flip the switch and change our mindset. I cannot do anything about the fact that if I ask you to change a habit, that there's going to be some discomfort involved. There's nothing we can do about that. So the sooner we can accept that as fact, the better off we can be. But what we can all do is change our relationship with discomfort and view it as the prerequisite that it is and say that this is just a, a path in order to get where I want to go. So I understand there's going to be discomfort and I'm willing to embrace it.